The burden of debt can be enormous for individuals and families, having an effect on both their financial stability and their overall well-being. It is of the utmost importance to locate debt relief when one is experiencing financial difficulties or when unexpected circumstances arise. Individuals frequently investigate the possibility of participating in debt forgiveness programs. In this video, we go into the idea of debt forgiveness, covering what it comprises, how it operates, and the several types of programs that are available. A process in which a creditor agrees to cancel or lower the amount of debt that is owed by a borrower is something that is referred to as debt forgiveness. Other names for this process are debt relief and debt settlement. This can take place for a variety of reasons, including is when one is experiencing financial difficulties, when one is unable to repay the obligation in its whole, or when one is negotiating a settlement. How Debt Forgiveness Works the process of debt forgiveness often entails agreements between the borrower and the creditor or a debt settlement company that is not affiliated with the borrower. It is possible for the procedure to change based on the nature of the debt and the policies of the creditor. A simplified explanation of how the process of debt forgiveness works is as follows. The borrower conducts an evaluation of their financial condition. The borrower evaluates their financial condition, which includes their overall debt, income, spending, and assets. Communication with creditors. The borrower will communicate with their creditors in order to shed light on their current financial predicament and investigate the various debt reduction solutions available to them. Negotiation. If the creditor is willing to negotiate, the borrower or a representative will negotiate with the creditor in order to establish an agreement over the settlement of the debt. In order to accomplish this, it may be necessary to reduce the total amount of the debt, reduce the interest rates, or lengthen the repayment period. Agreement and Settlement Once an agreement has been reached, the conditions are written down, and the borrower is responsible for making the payments that were agreed upon in order to meet the settlement. Types of Debt Forgiveness Programs For individuals who are looking for relief from their debt, there are a number of debt forgiveness programs and solutions accessible to them. The borrower engages in negotiations with creditors in order to settle debts for a sum that is less than the total amount that is owed throughout the course of a debt settlement program. Typically, this entails making a payment in a single lump sum or organizing installments to be made over a period of time. A debt management plan, sometimes known as a DMP, is a structured repayment plan that is managed by a credit counseling firm. For the purpose of lowering interest rates and consolidating debts into a single monthly payment, the agency engages in negotiations with creditors. Student loan forgiveness. Certain student loan forgiveness programs, such as public service loan forgiveness, PSLF, or income-driven repayment, IDR, plans, provide relief to students who satisfy particular criteria, such as working in public service or demonstrating financial hardship. These programs are available to borrowers who meet the requirements of the program. Mortgage forgiveness. Homeowners who are experiencing financial difficulties or foreclosure may be eligible for mortgage forgiveness programs. Loan modifications, principal reductions, and short sales are all elements that may be included in these schemes. Filing for bankruptcy, which is not a standard debt forgiveness program, can provide relief from unmanageable debt by disposing assets, Chapter 7, or restructuring debts, Chapter 13. This can be accomplished through the process of filing for bankruptcy. Factors to consider It is important for persons to take into consideration the following aspects when obtaining debt forgiveness. The eligibility requirements for debt forgiveness programs are not universally applicable to all debts or debtors. The conditions for eligibility change depending on the characteristics of the debt as well as the rules of the creditor. Due to the fact that debts that have been paid or forgiven may be reported to credit bureaus, debt forgiveness may have a negative influence on the credit score of the borrower. Implications for taxes. Borrowers may be required to pay taxes on the percentage of their debt that has been forgiven as income, depending on the amount of debt that has been forgiven. On the other hand, there are several exclusions that might apply, particularly for mortgage debt that has been forgiven through foreclosure. Depending on the nature of the services they provide, debt settlement firms or credit counseling agencies may impose fees on their clients. It is important for borrowers to thoroughly examine and comprehend the fees that are associated with a program before enrolling in it. Alternatives Prior to pursue debt forgiveness, consumers should investigate alternative choices, including as creating a budget, talking directly with creditors, or getting advice from credit counseling organizations that are not-for-profit. 
The relief that those who are battling with enormous debt can receive from debt forgiveness programs is something that is much needed. Borrowers are able to take control of their financial situation by making sure they have a thorough understanding of how debt forgiveness operates and by investigating the various options that are open to them. However, prior to enrolling in a debt forgiveness program, it is vital to take into consideration the potential influence on one's credit, taxes, and general financial well-being. At the end of the day, the objective is to achieve financial security and mental tranquility over the long term.